What's up guys, this is Pavel Barber here with the A6.0 HT, stands for hair trigger. Uh, there's also the A6.0 SBP. The difference between the two, the hair trigger has a low kick profile where the SBP has a mid to low kick profile. We're gonna talk a little bit about swing weight and what makes this stick so special. So we have two forces here. We have force one from the top end here, force two from the bottom end here, and then we have our third point here, which is your balance point. Those three, three things contribute to the overall balance of the stick. And swing weight is really a measure of how light the stick feels as you move it. So the swing weight on this stick, because it's balanced so well, makes it actually feel lighter than it actually is. So the lightness of the stick really isn't the overall measurement of how good a stick is. We need to get out of that mindset. The overall balance contributes to the durability and the overall good feel of the stick. We'll talk a little bit more in depth about that, but let's get started and test this out. Light and black. Red and black. Light and black. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We don't <laughs> Braden. Braden Barber. Nice to meet you too, huh? Nice to meet
So with the hockey stick, we have two forces that are being applied to it. We'll call them F1 and F2 for the purpose of understanding this. F1 is where we apply downward force from the top hand, and F2 is where we apply upward force with the bottom hand. F2 is the force required to lift or move the stick during the play, which is what True refers to as swing weight. So let's take a look at the anatomy of the stick and begin to understand the difference making properties. Swing weight is calculated by the force required to lift or move the stick between the position of the player's lower hand and the balance point of the stick. So here's where the magic happens. The balance point of the stick is around the R on the lower half of the stick. By distributing the weight throughout the shaft and with this low balance point, it gives the perception of a lighter stick without sacrificing strength and durability. And the cool part is this is actually a measurable statistic and in 2018 the A6.0 has the lowest swing weight on the market. Now from a non-technical standpoint, I simply love this stick. I'm a huge fan of the True XC9 for more feel on the blade, but I also enjoyed the stiffness in the A-Series for the shooting aspect of my game. I also don't feel like I gave up much feel in this blade compared to the XC9. Other things I loved that I can't really explain is I love receding hard passes with this thing. I felt like it really stuck to the blade. Uh, I don't know if that uh, takes the sting out of them or helps it uh, reduce bounce uh, based on how they made it, but it was one area of my game I really enjoyed was just taking those hard passes. So if you're deciding between the A-Series and the X-Core Series, ask yourself what you want out of the stick, what type of player are you? Uh, typically I advise shooters to go with the A-Series and playmakers to go with the X-Core Series. That's kind of how they were designed, but of course that's just a rule of thumb and you don't have to go with that. Uh, as with all equipment, you want to be able to try it first to know. Uh, you really want to see what part of your game you want helped out the most uh, in terms of using whatever stick you're going to use. But I can tell you, whatever true stick you're going to go with, you're probably going to love it. I love both the X-Core Series and the A-Series. So there you have it guys, that's the true A6.0 HT, again the SBP is a little bit different just in terms of the kick zone. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that stick out. You guys know I love true sticks, big difference between the A series and the uh, X series is the blade uh, and a little bit of the composition on the inside. So be sure to do your research, know which one is right for you, and we'll see you guys next time.